Okay, here's the finished product. Operate brakes replaced with high performance brakes. Although the stove is too small for the size of the rims. Lowered it. Some modifications to the motor and everything. And now the Escalade is done. I just picked Yokohama as my new sponsor. I'll show you guys later. Yeah, I'll pause it. I picked the voice pick for the best signing bonus. Oops. Hey, it's me again. It's time to pick a new car for the test. 
Something about the holding. Oh, yes. The Corolla. Before doing anything, I said an exhaust. The rims. Because the rims are fine. And let's go ahead and do suspension. To increase handling, wash the diameter. Diameter. Skip that. For the sharks. Is Three. This won't hinder the um, overall performance, stock block performance of this car. So now it's ready for a dyno run. First, we're gonna do a stock. And then we're going to do the same thing like last time. Three basic modifications that is going to be mixed up. So enjoy. Enjoy enjoy. And please leave comments. And please thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Doesn't matter to me. We were a drive, very nice. Yeah, we're going to ask you first to try and increase that to 100 plus. Of course, power I have there is fine. First try. Now, in order to increase torque, we're going to have to blueprint the block. Blueprint the block. And then, okay, now that blueprint is a block, it's part one. Modification one. Talk will be at a hundred plus now. Then we get get to do some other stuff to it. Our next upgrade is a cold air intake. And this is an 85 AE86 Corolla GTS. That's a bit of an increase. 
modification two complete. Now we're on to the final. And this car needs more on um, fuel, so. We're adding fuel injectors to the mix. That's the last part of the modification. Almost 130 horsepower. Conser considerable drop. Hey YouTube viewers, me again. I changed the color of the rim, but everything else is basically the way it is on this Sentra. And I just figured this out. Stock form to this part. Horsepower 174.8 and 179.2 foot torque. That's stuck. Mod 1 horsepower 181.1 horsepower and 189.7 foot pounds of torque. That's an increase of 6.3 horsepower and 6.5 torque foot pounds of torque. Mod 2 horsepower 184.8 torque. 189.4 pounds of torque. Increase of 3.7 horsepower and 3.74 pounds of torque. Last mod. Um, horsepower 191.6 and torque 186.4 foot pounds. An increase of 6.8 horsepower is 7 foot pounds of torque. And the overall gains that we I have. 16.8 horsepower gain and a 17.2 foot pounds of torque gain. That's maximum. Now, let's go over to the Corolla. That's stuck looking. Let's fix that real quick. Anyway, oh yes, Sentra, new bars. And that's, um, in the original bars. For this stock block. But let's get over, and here's the new bar for the Toyota. And stop bars. <coughs> anyway, the Corolla in E86 stock 112.1 horsepower and 95.8 foot pounds of torque. Mod 1 120.2 horsepower and 102.7 foot pounds of torque. Again, it's 8.1 horsepower and 6.9 foot pounds of torque. My two, 123.3 horsepower and 105.4 foot pounds of torque. Again, of 3.1 horsepower and 2.7 foot pounds of torque. Mod three, last mod. 129.6 horsepower and 110.8 foot pounds of torque. Again, of 6.3 horsepower and 5.4 foot pounds of torque. Overall gains, maximum. Well, overall gains. 17 and a half horsepower and 15 foot pounds of torque. And that's your beauty.